this is nice. Burn. Good. Yeah, that also doesn't help, because... If I remember correctly, like... I think you can also use... I think you could also use Earth Chant on it, too, it being a uh, Earth-type. But even still, even with the extra support to actually pull it out into the field more easily, it's... I will agree it's not as great of a unit. You are, you are right on that one. Ooh, Poison Tail. Nice. Oh, that's a problem. Ah! Before you get out of control. Oh, this is a problem. There go both of my Reviver Seeds. Uh, I hate... my everything. With that normal monsters in the graveyard, it's just a beat stick and not a great one. Yeah. There are ritual monsters that, for the same rank, that are easier to summon and do more. You're right on that one, sadly. Oh, for the love of... Deal with you right quick. What? Cell? Thank you? I don't know why you immediately canceled Dig. Because you had the perfect shot. Just a little more useful than Crab Turtle. Do I be the absolute nerd I am and say, hey, remember when Hungry Burger was something that the people used? Cell? Cell? Did you really just try to use Dig? On a Pokemon with Levitate. You did. Oh my god, Celia. I've been feeding you gummies to make you smarter. Why aren't they? The Bernie eats inflicts battle damage, so it doesn't activate if you attack a defense position. Oh, gross. Greg. Okay, what do I have to deal with you? Chew. Eat this, Rampardos. Actually, no, wait, you're a Nah. Eat that little shield on. I... It did... It appeared in the anime?
it actually appeared in the anime? Did it actually have a decent use case, or...? Oh my god, if you hit four in a row... Toss a pebble your way. Enjoy. A, a walk full walk. Two walks. Twee walks. Used by a random monster in the GX anime. Damn, it was a good move getting a Viper. Holy shite. Oh, the Lycanthropy was a duelist? That definitely sounds like something in, like, Arc 2 or Arc 3 of... GX. There we go. Because I remember they had a specific thing where they were like, Hey, we're actually going to duel against monsters. Steelwing. Nice. That's going on, Tejanos. I don't think there's all too much else on the floor. I know there's cash, but honestly, eh. I want to make progress. So, this is the deepest part of the cave. Oh, over there, Casey. Look at these three giant crystals. They're in different colors, too. It's obvious they're not like any of the other crystals. On the way here, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary, did we? So, maybe these crystals are the, cri are the clue. Maybe they're keeping a secret. I feel the same way. On the journey to Falkbound Lake, when we met Euxie... Dueled against the guy that had a gun that turned into a dual disc. Wow. I think I know who you're talking about. The quicksand pools allowed us passage to the underground lake. The Groudon statue to that lake. Maybe this place leads to Azelf's lake. It should be like the other two. There should be a secret here. Oh, whoa. The crystal changed color when I touched it. This one, too. Maybe that's a clue to solving this place. See for yourself. Touch one. Does change, and in a variety of colors. Three crystals, changing colors. Ugh. Another one, a scream. I see. Of the three spiritual elements of knowledge, emotion, and wisdom, as elf is the being of willpower. Willpower is the motivation that drives us. A unifying power. To unify is to make one. So if the colors of these crystals were made one, the path should reveal itself. Let's see. What's the color of his elf's spirit? That's the question. He lives at Crystal Lake. So maybe it's affected by the crystals. Yeah, with the crocodile strapped us back. I remember him. It got a name for its effect? Seriously? It was that big back then? All I heard was a voice. No. This happened before. At Groudon's statue. I heard only a voice that time, too. But why does that happen? Why only a voice, and why now? Is something up, Casey? You had another vision, didn't you? Another scream? Yeah. I knew it. What'd you see? Well, according to the voice, Azelf is the being of willpower. 
The voice said the crystals should all be one color. Make the crystals one color. And... Yeah, make it all one color. All right, we'll leave it to you. The question is, what color? The color of willpower must be the color of the Zelf's spirit. Crystal Cave and Crystal Lake. Is the Zelf's spirit as clear as crystal? Or maybe it's the color of cold water. Seems you're into this. Do what you can. I'll start looking around just in case. We also get an opportunity to check the storage here. Here specifically, and there's a reason for that. We'll get into that, but first... Let's see, store switcher. Store the steel wing. I guess store the silver spikes too. too. Then for items to take out. Let's take out two orange berries. And a reviver seed. Save. And now to gimmick with our one of few instances of puzzle. Again, spirit as clear as crystal. If you wanted, you could try to check other colors and brute force this puzzle. But the solution is really simple. All of the crystals need to be blue. A tremor. It's dangerous. Let's back off. Is that crystal, or is the self happy to see us? And into Horny Jail I go. What is that? It's a big, jagged opening in the middle. Think we should go through here? Maybe that's where Azelf is. I guess those crystals were the key after all. They opened a path that might lead to a time gear. Let's go. <laughs> oh, really, Chomp Steve? You're actually gonna try to pick a fight with that thing? With that guy? Fine. that, let's take a few opportunities to loot. Ornberry might be nice to have. You! Mm. I just put that Ornberry in the inventory, you absolute shrock. There we go. And one other item. At least I'm positive on orange berries this time, so yay. So far, so good. Iron thorns. A warp trap. Sleep. Oh, sure. You step on the trap and you're perfectly fine. Go away, Wormadam. Wormadam starts to attack. And if you understand where that reference comes from, you get a cookie. 
I don't know what flavor that cookie is. You'll, uh, you'll have to consult the grounds to see what they have in stock. But regardless, you get a cookie. Is that glare? Replace Screech, please. <laughs> wow, Slashtail really is an edgelord. Yeah, I leveled up. You want to make something of it? Jeez, dude, I didn't want to pick a fight. Where's the werewolf archetype? Yeah, there should be. That's kind of a shame. Give us a group of, like, uh, werewolf monsters... Give us a group of monsters that... If the first time they're destroyed by battle, they become a new mon They become a separate monster. Like, specifically a monster from the extra deck, from the extra deck, and have those be the werewolves. No. I'm not in the mood for bacon. Yeah, actually, I remember at least one of the cards from Zombies. Poison Zombie, if I remember correctly, which was like a flip effect monster. When it flips up, it deals 500 life points damage to the opponent. There's a shop here? Place. Let's see, what other items do I want to sell? Aww, but the switch mechanic is Dragon Maid. Hmm. Then maybe I should invest in some Kobayashi. That's fine. Uh, that's fine, Haru. Enjoy the lyric. Stay safe. Why are- You are an utter scam lord! Look at this! Look at this! A gold ribbon! Ah! <gasps> <laughs> 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 this MF right here is a scam lord. Charging 4,000 poke for a gold ribbon. And you want to know what the cheesy part about this is? Gold ribbons, gold ribbons do shit. They don't do anything. What type of business you run in, man? What type of business you run in here? You take me for a sucker? There we go. Just really now. There is no way in hell I am paying 4,000 poke for an item that does absolutely and verifiably nothing. I'm a savvy shopper. I'm at least gonna wait until it goes on sale. <laughs> like seriously, if you're if you're gonna be a person who buy who buys something absolutely useless, at least wait for it to be on sale. That way you're at least losing a little less. Remember that the vampire deck does not do vampire. Yeah, it doesn't. That's so weird. If I remember correctly, a good chunk of them are like flip effect monsters, aren't they? Eat this royal gummy. Ooh. We got quite a bit out of that. A whole bunch of stats, and more importantly... Non-sleeper. The Pokémon resists sleep ailment. Really, really useful.
Why did I use Ember on the... <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days. Zombies do... Is it vampires do deck destruction? Hmm. Sorry about that. I'm completely misremembering then. I'll own up to it. Nice wise grip. Beast warrior, werewolf, de Yeah, exactly. You got it. Burnation. Big unga bunga. Hmm. Now the question is, what types of abilities would werewolves have if they were within Yu-Gi-Oh? I would think something that like I don't know, grafts a type, a grafts a specific typing onto an opponent or something. I'm not sure. I would really like to see... I would like to see what type of... mechanic that they would use. Seriously? He just tried to ember a fire type. Hello again, Thanos. We're in a crystal cave. Full of crystal. It's also a cave. I've also drowned in water. Send help. No, preferably send paper towels, because with the amount that I've drunk today... Actually, hell, this stream. The amount that I've drunk this stream. It's actually kind of disgusting. I've effectively drunk today more water than I would have sippied in a typical day. Maybe even double that. And that by itself should say a lot. Actually, hell, I still have to drink more on top of this because at some point I'm gonna have to go eat something. Likely when stream ends. And that's gonna be pizza, which is already going to need some sippies. I need that absolute. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, 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 need! I need my disaster. I need my disaster, doggo. We already have a T. We need a raptor. If you'll move, please. Damn it. Seriously. <laughs> the wimpiest seed just flies. The wimpiest leaf just flies straight across the room. Right into my poor survivor. <sighs> Some Medusa deck? Seriously? What the hell would Medusas do? Petrify opponent? Uh, no. Actually, that's something that Yu-Gi-Oh would do. Petrify opponents. <laughs> I say it as a dumb question. I say it as a raccoon being dumb question, but in all fairness, Yu-Gi-Oh actually would do that. How's that? Let's drink this for healthies. Ugh. Tastes like trash. Makes your opponent's attack zero? Yeah, that, that sounds accurate. That sounds accurate. <laughs> Charm. That sounds amazingly broken, and I love it. That's a, They're effectively a change of heart the monster. That's... 
There's another scam artist here. Welcome to my shop and hairs. Uh, don't you mean wares? I know what I said. Right, I gotta sell something. Oh, uh, hmm. I kinda wanna keep my boxes. But I also have way too many orbs. I guess I'll drop a luminous orb. Because I don't need that. Pick up that. There we go. I've got 655. You have another Reviver Seed. Oh, you have another Reviver Seed. What can I sell for 145? Need to make their attack for zero first before stealing. No, they're not great. Aw, that's kind of a shame. Auto mod? Cool your jets. Cool your jets, Automod. We're for adults here. We do all types of cursing, yourself include yourself and fuck included. I might just sell the iron thorns. Cause they sell for a decent amount. I correct stand it, that's absolute trash. Okay, back to the question of what do I sell? Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be a terrible person for a moment. And because T is right in front of me, I'm going to do something that will make him proud. I did mention it at some point that it is possible to steal from the shopkeep in a very specific scenario. We have that scenario, technically. Oh, Powder Snow, really? Thank you. Oh my gods. Why? Absol. Damn it. Absol again. Ripple damn it. Okay, so first things first. Clear up some inventory space. So we can actually get away with some of the items that we're going to be stealing. What does the slip seed do? Possible to walk on water. Interesting. Sure. Yeah. And let's see here. Let's chew an apple, too. But you guys can take care of that, right? Reptilian. Oh, reptilian monsters. That's what it was. Okay. And now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and birds of all shapes and sizes and feathers, the Troll Orb. Demonstration. Yep. That is how you steal from the shopkeep. So for that, we just got the Luminous Orb that we already sold, additional couple of gummies, a Rostberry, and their other Reviver Seed. And we didn't have to fight. Hey, if I have a Troll Orb and the shop looks like it has decent shop, it has decent stuff, I'm not going to turn my nose on it. At this point, it's just attack of opportunity. Oh. 
Christ! I was frozen today! And I lost my danger noodle! It was the noodliest of noodles! <sighs> Rest in peace. Also, go away. Besides T, would you want would you have wanted me to stick around to get my and take my whippings from Angry Shopkeep number 5473? I think not. Cell, you could take that, right? And I believe this is the perfect opportunity for me to toss a thorn. Toasty. I want you. Take 30 damage. Of course, I can't have you. I want an Absol. They're adorable. They're precious. And most importantly, they bring disaster to only me. <laughs> If you have the opportunity to have an Absol, yes. There's no other answer you, you can give. There's no other answer you're allowed to give. Only yes. Only yes. Only yes. Oh, the Petra Scarf. Lame. <laughs> if you had the chance to change your fate, would you take it? If you had the chance to get an Absol, would you take it? Yes. Why is... why is my head work like this? Why does my head just devolve into stupid aphorisms like this and corruptions of memes? Yes, I do like, uh... Actually, no wait, that's Dark Different Dimension, if I remember correctly, right? I remember that I, at one point I wanted to make, like, a monster of... A deck full of different dimension monsters. Game, I already have a violent seed. You don't need to give me that tutorial. Ah! Cell, can you take this, please? Oh, that's not good. Uh... Toss over your head. Thank you. Denizen of Different Dimension. Okay, then. Yeah, that's one I want to get into. Because that one's all about... Preventing monster... Uh, that one's all about denying monsters from going into the graveyard, having them be out of play, and pulling them be uh, pulling them out from Banishment, too. It, they're really, really good at field perpetuation, if you know how to set them up right. But unfortunately, a good chunk of them are fairly weak monsters, which is kind of a shame. I need to think about resources for a moment. Uh, there was something I wanted to do, and I completely lost track of what I wanted to do. Damn it. Now I remember. I wanted to get some of my power points back. No, there are, there are actually decently powerful monsters in Different Dimension. All types of summoning besides ritual, huh? Okay, then. I might have an interest in it. I'll make sure to do better research in the future. Sorry. Five. Five. This is at least the two-thirds point in the game, game. You're really just going to give me a random piece of money that's a nickel? There's nothing nowadays you could buy with five pence. Hell, there's nothing you could buy nowadays that's worth a nickel. Yeah! Oh! Well, 
Raptor isn't here for this, but she will have to. They will have to settle for being male. Cards are named DD, DDD, it DDD. Also, a new archetype revealed in the TCG. Didn't that archetype start in like Arc 5 or. Yeah, I think it was Arc 5. As like one of the big bad stingers. A monster named Liebermancer Geek Boy. That's a. <laughs> Okay, I'll give that one to you. That's that's hilarious. That's such a dumb name, and I love it. 